You can gloss over the unboxing, the wiring, and get straight to the setup, and then actually installing it in the bike. Last time I was unable to connect via Bluetooth because I didn't have the latest version of their app which communicates with this, but now I have that version and can successfully communicate and talk to the controller, so now I can show you the setup process, but with a phone. And once you download it, it looks like this. Pretty simple, but straightforward. So we're gonna turn on the bike now. So then on the app, we're gonna tap this button in the corner, which is the devices. And then we're gonna look for a specific one right here, which is FTESC BLE. We're gonna first go to motor setup, and then this is going to have a couple of those parameters, same ones that I showed you previously, and we're gonna enter in that information again. So I'm gonna hit the plus button a few times, up to 20 in the initial setup, as well as the further testing. And what they said to put in first initial is 100 amps. So I'm gonna set this from 51 to 100. That. So once we've entered in those things, we're gonna hit parameter setup. And then it shows this section, which is the current max. And this again is the motor current, the motor brake current, battery current, and battery regen current. Similar to the motor rated current we put in initially, this is also gonna be 100. And with motor brake current, they actually recommended that I should not be putting that at zero. It's actually safer to put it at a minus number. This one defaults to negative of the total current that's already in the system. So it's minus 50 right now, but they recommended negative 40. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Set this to negative 20, which is what I'll do. And after all that, I'm gonna hit right at the bottom here, right success, that way everything is saved. Now that that's all saved, we're gonna go up to setup here and change to ESC parameters, just to make sure everything else is all good. And it is the NTC, but you can select here different options for that. And I believe this one is the NTC 10K at 25 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to stick with the default. Now that we got all that saved, we're going back to the next page, which is the motor parameter identification, the first things that we set up. And having read through all of these and saying that it's going to be okay, I'm going to hit yes, and we're gonna see it do its thing. Very loud noises. There it goes. Might be able to hear that, but the motor was turning. And there's the detection result right there on the phone. Also the three speed. So I need to tell it that with this control mode. And that control mode in this case is going to be current LMH gear for low, middle, high gear. Now that's all you really need to do here, but there is one other thing that I wanna change right off the bat, which I found that I didn't quite like when I first rode this thing, which is the throttle response level. This defaults to a level two, and the higher the level, the more responsive the throttle is. And for this purpose, for an electric dirt bike, I think it's great to have a really snappy throttle, although you can keep this if you want, but in my case, I wanna have it at the higher level, level four. So once you have that all saved and hit right and okay, then you go up again here to ADC parameter clib. Don't know what clib means, but this is the read mode. So what you do here is tell it what you have with the throttle by giving it just a wide open and a close. So that way it knows the voltages for the full range. And there's a start setup reset and stop mode. So we're gonna hit start. It's going to be reading things and you can see that with the values right here. So as I hit the throttle, it's gonna go up to its found max, and then I go back down again, and then I'm going to hit setup, and then I hit stop. Finally, to save everything, right, okay, and I think we're done. So that's all that there is when it comes to the setup. It's pretty straightforward, but there's one more thing I wanna show you at the home screen here. There is another button that is test and display. So if we click into that, we get a dashboard with all sorts of things that we can see in real time as we're riding this or as we crack the throttle. So with this on, if I give this a few whacks, You can see all of the different things going on there. There's a lot to look at, which is really cool, but this is gonna be very helpful for me in testing and tuning this so that I make sure, of course, that everything is well within the specification. Definitely recording. Added a beep, by the way, just because so far so good. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous still. Not giving it much throttle, but it's cruising. Still feels pretty mellow on the throttle response. Very gradual. All right, let's put some numbers to it. Just going easy. And that magic number right off the bat with low, low, low parameters, 35 miles an hour. So not a bad start. We can go faster though. We have the technology and hopefully the controller. So I guess next time we see this, it'll be fully functional and we'll see what it can do. Now we're on the right track. The OG Model Tech is back.